So we're, we're winding down and I want to give each of you a, a minute for any closing comments, but I have to throw out this last question. It may be a way that you can fold it into your comments. There, there's some, I think, misunderstanding in some cases about uh, South Korean or rock elements within UNC and what role uh, they either play or could play. So let me give uh, the first chance for final uh, comments to General Brooks. Well, JD, thanks for doing this once again. Um, my last comments will I'll address your question and, uh, and close with just a few very quick points. Um, the South Koreans play a critical role inside of UN Command. Some of the key general officer staff positions are held by South Koreans. As part of this effort to make the role of UN Command more vital, to bring it more, uh, more to life, we wanted to balance that a bit more because UN Command and Combined Forces Command began to look too much alike, where they were Americans and South Koreans. And so we sought to increase the number of other country contributions to the staff roles. And most notable was Canada committing a three-star general who is now the chief of the army, uh, General Wayne Eyre, to be the first non-American, non-Korean deputy commander of UN Command, a very important step. And so some of the rock US characteristics of UN Command were deliberately reduced so that those two could concentrate on the Combined Forces Command and so that the international community had a greater role in what was to follow. So I'll, I'll leave my response to your question at that. Uh, let me just close by saying, I, I think that UN Command is a very important command. It has been, it still is, and it will be into the future. It provides a basis upon which change can occur. I think change is coming to the peninsula. And I, ideally, that's not a change that resorts back to war. It's a change that ultimately leads to peace. We need someone who has been fighting for peace for these many years, 70 years, really, not just 67, to play a role in that. And so I, I strongly encourage the role of UN Command being thoroughly thought through as part of the basis upon which change can occur. But thanks again for the privilege of joining you today. Thank you, General Brooks. General Scott. Well, to the, to the first question, uh, JD, I would just say that, uh, you know, the ROC presence in the UNC was very important, as Vince pointed out. Uh, um, but for me, in the initial stages, it was because I wanted to ensure that uh, we could establish and maintain trust. I mean, their insight and a part of this organization, their, their, uh, they were present at the meetings with the ambassadors, et cetera, that we held every month. They were a part of all the staff actions. That provided them insight and ability to question and establish the trust that you've got to have inside of any other alliance and you need to have in any organization like UNC. So to me, their, their role is vital and it, it, it allays those fears that we talked about earlier here in the program, in my view. Uh, as, by way of closing, I would just echo what Vince said and that is, is that I think UNC is vital to the present and to the future uh, resolution of the conflict here in the peninsula. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the power of an international organization working together and I think in today's world um, with the connectivity, uh, the global connectivity, the influence, uh, the speed of influence on humans that it's actually in this international component in the UNC uh, is vital to us finding a way to bring this to a peaceful resolution as opposed to a one of conflict. Thanks, uh, General Brooks, General Scaparati, and Sean for your very insightful comments. Every time I'm around any of you, I learn a lot about the nature of this alliance and, and the nature today of, of UNC. Uh, very instructive. I look forward to, to future conversations. Just one last note as we prepare to leave. On July 10th, 2020, the Rock U.S. Alliance lost its greatest champion and mentor, General and Ambassador Peckham Sung Yup. Uh, KDVLA held a, a tribute webinar on July 17th uh, to ensure that General Peck's uh, unmatched efforts for the Alliance uh, would not be forgotten. Uh, we're very fortunate today to have Ms. Namhee Park, General Beck's daughter, as one of the attendees for the webinar. 
our condolences go out to you and the rest of your family. And thank you so much for uh, continuing to be a part of the dialogue uh, that makes uh, the Rock US Alliance uh, the strength that it is. Um, thanks for everyone for attending. Uh, we will get word out uh, well in advance of future webinars. Uh, we appreciate uh, your participation today and the great questions that you had. So thank you very much. Goodbye.